Greetings, Clovey friends and family. It's Chris here again with another one of our Psalms that we are uh, doing, and I hope you are feeling very blessed by all of these Psalms. And we're at Psalm 36, so I wanna welcome you to that and invite you to join me as we read the Psalm. Transgression speaks to the wicked deep in his heart. There's no fear of God before his eyes. For he flatters himself in his own eyes that his iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of his mouth are trouble and deceit. He has ceased to act wisely and do good. He plots trouble while on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. He does not reject evil. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens. Your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like the great deep. Man and beast, you save, O oh Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O oh God. The children of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the rivers of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light do we see light. O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright of heart. Let not the foot of arrogance come upon me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. They, there the evildoers lie fallen. They are thrust down, unable to rise. Quite a lot of uh, uh, meat, so to speak, in this psalm, but I really want us just to camp for the moment on one of the verses, which is verse seven, that talks about the preciousness of God's unfailing love. And another version I've read says priceless. And we think about things that we put value on that are precious to us. And it can be everything from a ring to photos of our family, of our children, of our grandchildren. And we think about those uh, things that are so precious to us. I have one a quilt behind me that my mom and my sisters took so long to put together. And there is a journey in there of uh, different things that we would have sewn at one time. And we think, uh, I think about that and, and think that is, um, I can't put a price on it because it is something that has a lot of memory. But when we think about the priceless love of God, how much he loves us and what it cost us in terms of our salvation, that's how much he loves us. And the fact that that love doesn't fail can give us great comfort and great hope. And so I hope that is encouraging to you as you face each day that God's love is unfailing and it is priceless. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that we can hide in the shadow of your wings, but also we find that your love is priceless. It's precious, it costs it's costly, and it's costly in that Jesus came to die for us. And that's how much you love us. Thank you again, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, have a great day. I trust you are blessed. And until we meet again, shalom.